What? Why rap? What? What was the? Some. Um, my homie in my high school used to rap, and he used to get all the attention. So I'm like, I can rap too. Before Lil Uzi Vert dropped songs like Uzi Money Longer, You Was Right, and EXO Tour Life, Lil Uzi Vert's SoundCloud page would receive millions of streams for each of his tracks, and he would sell out his homecoming show at the Philadelphia Theater of the Living Arts. He would ink a deal with Atlantic Records, make it onto the 2016 Double XL Freshman Class cover, collaborate with the likes of Young Thug, Wiz Khalifa, and ASAP Mob, and take the place of Takeoff on the biggest Migo song of all time. I ain't left out Bad Boots. You think I'm left out Bad Boots? Say again? You say I'm left off bad and booze? What'd you say? You say I'm left off bad and booze? Growing up in North Philly, Lil Uzi Vert or Samir Woods would jam out to the likes of Mike Jones, the Ying Yang Twins, and believe it or not, Marilyn Manson, who he cited as his greatest inspiration and the guy who motivated him to embrace his own musical interests and style. In high school, he was a class clown, dressed like a skater, and would do anything for a little bit of attention. When a friend of his started to turn heads with his rap skills, Samir decided to get into the game himself. But at least at first, he didn't really have the talent. Plus, his hardworking mother, she wanted him to go down a more practical route. But if he had listened to her, well, he might have stayed at school and kept his job working as a stock boy at the dollar store. What's going on, everybody? My name is Michael McCredden, documenting the life and career of little Uzi Vert prior to fame, here for you on Before They're Famous. And this is an updated video, it's also extended. I've recently documented Ski Mask the Slump God, XXX Tentacion, and Young Pappy. Be sure to check out those videos. Also, as always, be sure to let me know who's next in the comments down below. And you can find me on Instagram or Twitter. I'm a crud nap. Vert was born Samir Woods on July 31st, 1994 in North Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Growing up in the Francisville neighborhood, his parents were separated and young Samir would bounce between his mother and his father's home. As a kid, he loved playing video games, especially Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX and watch cartoons like Franklin and Cat Dog. He grew up listening to Mike Jones, Bow Wow and the Ying Yang Twins before getting into Wiz Khalifa and Meek Mill. The first album he ever owned was Wanted by Mike Jones and Bow Wow, which he received as a gift from his grandmother, Cool Granny. But Seymour's musical tastes were diverse and he also listened to Paramore, My Chemical Romance and the All-American Rejects. He was also and remains today a huge fan of Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Manson just did a really in-depth interview with Howard Stern and I'm thinking about updating his bio. Let me know if that's something you want to see. Now Uzi Vert has cited ASAP Rocky, Pharrell Williams, Kanye West, Young Thug, Wiz Khalifa and Lil Wayne also as musical influences. In school, a young Uzi was a bit of an outsider an attention seeker and a class clown. He was not a particularly good student and he was constantly getting into trouble. He attended four different public schools, there was Sayre, Northeast, Olney and Camelot. But around 2012 in his senior year of high school, Samir found something that was for him, rap. A friend of his, William Aston, put out a freestyle over Chris Brown's Look At Me Now and the whole school went absolutely crazy for it. Now as a young attention seeker himself, Uzi decided to tell William that he rapped as well. And Will, well, he decided to call his bluff, asking him to spit something for him right there on the spot. Well, Uzi was able to prolong it for several days and then managed to write a verse to rap for William. Uzi recalls that it was pretty corny, but William encouraged him to keep at it. Then one day, William invited Uzi to go to the studio with him. Uzi agreed, despite being totally unprepared. Unable to back out, Uzi got all the way to the studio with no worthy material. Once there, he managed to lay down a track and William must have liked what he heard because he suggested that the two continue to rap together. Samir would continue to work on his skills recording freestyles over beats he'd find on YouTube. Despite being from the north, he would embrace southern sounds, inspired in part by artists like ASAP Rocky and Big Sean, who were doing the same. But as he developed as a rapper, it became clearer and clearer that he would need a stage name. Some guy was like, damn, nigga, you rap like a machine gun fast, like a little Uzi or something. <laughs> oh. And then vert is? Um, like, like vertical, vertical. Like straight to the top. Straight like to the jump, top. Yeah. Okay, I like that. I like that. And from there, he had found his moniker. Little Uzi Vert began posting his songs to SoundCloud. Back in 2014, he would be lucky to see a few hundred people had listened to his work. But when he got his first couple thousand, he was thrilled. He told Complex back in 2015, just that couple of thousand felt so crazy. Just being at home, even a thousand people listening to your song, I'm like, damn. A thousand people heard it or know my song. 
so it was just cool. Now I see it in a day, a song can get up to 100,000 or something, it makes me feel good. I guess I'm doing something right. It wouldn't take long for he and William to catch the attention of DJ Buzzworthy, who offered to manage the duo. William declined, but Uzi agreed on the spot. And through DJ Buzzworthy, he met producer Charlie Heat, who produced his 2014 breakout hit, Uzi. Would make it into the hands of Power 99's DJ Diamond Cuts. She got the song on the radio in Philadelphia, where it would catch the ear of an Atlanta based industry leader who just happened to be in town. In Philly to Atlanta, how did that. Don Is that Cannon. an image? Don Cannon. Just like drama. He was riding through Philly. You heard him playing my song on the radio, and he called the radio station and asked him for my number. Another notable influencer on Little Uzi Vert's career was him receiving some online respect from the now deceased ASAP Yams, who reached out to Uzi via Twitter, telling him he would be a star. On top of that, in 2014, Uzi started dating stylist, designer, and artist Britney Bird. Nice catch. Things definitely looked like they were coming together, but at the time, Little Uzi Vert was facing serious pressure to give up on his dreams. His mom, who had made an honest living as a nurse, wanted Samir to make more practical plans for his future. He had dropped out of school and he didn't want to go back, but in order to appease his mom, he did get a job working as a stock boy at a local dollar store. Now it wasn't long before he quit that job as well, but when he was kicked out of his mom's house and found himself living with his grandma, who was a little more supportive of his rap career, well he now was able to put school and his day job aside, and Uzi put everything into his music and his career was on the rise. Yeah, we got no dreams, somebody work, somebody do what? Go oh, who? Zoo? 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 Work? It's sold out. Cannon and DJ Drama had a lot of faith in the teenager, so they brought him out to Atlanta to record. Uzi earned for himself nationwide attention after being featured on DJ Carnage's single WDYW in 2015 with ASAP Ferg and Rich the Kid. He was signed to Generation Now and later Atlantic Records. That same year, little Uzi Vert got his very own music video for Safe House from his big stape Love Is Rage. And this would come as big stape little Uzi Vert vs. the World with his breakout hit Money Longer. The song would be certified double platinum and chart billboard, hitting number 9 on the US rap charts. From there, he would be collaborating with his idols touring America and would find himself on the cover of Double XL in the 2016 freshman class. Hey, what's up? It's Lil Uzi Vert, and I'm 2016 Double XL freshman. In June of 2016, Lil Uzi Vert broke up with his girlfriend, Brittany Bird. After the breakup, rumors about her cheating spread all over the web, but Uzi dispelled them via Twitter. He did, however, drop a new song called Stole Your Love. Uzi Vert released the perfect love tape on July 31st, 2016, with songs like 7 Million featuring Future and my favorite, Eraser Social. In October of 2016, Lil Uzi Vert collaborated with the Migos on Bad and Bougie. This would be the first First number one single for both Little Uzi Vert as a featured artist and the Migos as a lead artist. A definite win for everyone who was involved. But you gotta feel a little bad for Takeoff, who seemed to give up his spot on the track for Uzi. Do it look like I'm left off bad and bougie? What'd you say? Do it look like I'm left off bad and bougie? Bad and Bougie would get Uzi nominated for Best Hip Hop Video at the 2017 MTV Music Video Awards. It was nominated for Top Rap Song and Top Rap Collaboration at the Billboard Music Awards, where Lil Uzi Vert was also nominated as Top New Artist. But unfortunately, he wouldn't take home any of these awards. Collaborating with Gucci Mane, Lil Uzi released 1017 vs. The World in November. In February of 2017, he released Love Is Rage 1.5. That EP would include his highest charting single to date, EXO Tour Live. On garnered Uzi his first major music award, taking home the prize for Song of the Summer at the 2017 MTV Music Video Awards. It would also feature on Little Uzi Vert's debut studio album, Love Is Rage 2, which was released on August 25th, 2017. The album crushed Billboard, topping the charts in the number one spot on the Hot 100 and R&B and Hip Hop chart, also the US rap chart. And what can you say about Little Uzi Vert? He's a rock star. <laughs> and what can you say about little Uzi Vert? He's a rock star. As for the rest of the story, well, geez, that's, you know, I think that's pretty much it, right? Because this is before they're famous. My name is Michael McCrad, and I hope you guys enjoyed this updated and extended video. Now, some of you guys may have watched the earlier video we've done, but we've gotten a lot of new subscribers since then, like almost a million. So, you know, sometimes we just want to, you know, take it from the bottom and put it back on top. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know who's next in the comments down below. Here's some other videos. I'll see you guys in the next one.